Welcome into Sports Map Houston. I'm Vanessa Richardson. That man right there is Paul Gallant. You can hear us, of course, 97.5 and 92.5 from 10 a.m. to noon. Make sure you subscribe to both of us on YouTube. We have fire content. The links, of course, <laughs> are in the description. We so, sound so Holly young G. when you say it like that. Yes, it's, I know. I'm very cool. This <laughs> week we found out that Lance McCullers Jr. hit a really important milestone in the recovery. He threw from the mound. It's great to get that positive news, but keep this in mind. He's only been throwing for six weeks. The most recent session, those 10 pitches, and we're approaching June. James Click had said he thinks McCullers will pitch this season. My first question, do you buy that? I do buy that. I mean, it's just a matter of where he'll pitch and what kind of role he'll pitch in. The good news for the Astros right now is they don't need him out there. The starting pitching to this point this year, has been the surprise of the year. Of course, Justin Verlander is looking like he's going to win the American League Cy Young with the way that he started off the season. He's got the best ERA in all of baseball, the most wins in all of baseball, the best walks, hits per innings pitched in all of baseball. But the rest of the rotation, whether it's Urquidy or it's Luis Garcia, they have looked really good themselves. You don't need Lance McCullers out there. So I say continue to take your time. Vanessa, if you're asking me for an actual date as far as when McCullers would return, though, I honestly, I have no clue. I really don't. You never really seem to know with Lance and, and his constant struggles with injuries. You don't, and it was a toss-up when the injury happened in October or whatever. Would he pitch in the World Series? And then obviously that didn't happen, and so here we are. Given those circumstances, is this going to give the Astros some pause before they let guys pitch on short rest? You know, it's one of the perks that you do have going for you, assuming that Jake Odorizzi also comes back and is pitching like we had seen him pitch over his last couple of starts. You don't need to really, I think, force these guys into intense labor situations out on the mound ever. You have a lot of depth when it comes to guys who can pitch deep into games, but I do wonder if maybe as suggested by Keith Law on ESPN 97.5 yeah. and 92.5, if maybe the Astros think about a new role for Lance McCullers, who has always been a starter, but in the playoffs has been used in the bullpen role and has done pretty damn well in the bullpen role. I'll go back to the 2017 playoffs. I'm curious if as to if they would move him potentially into the bullpen. I, I think it would work. He's got some filthy stuff and maybe the day-to-day, hey, does he have the stuff today? Is he really getting that kind of dip that he gets with this curveball from time to time? Maybe that is something that wouldn't be as consistent as it is when he's getting the five days of rest. But I I think with the injury history that he's had, considering the guy's under contract for you for such a long period of time, find a way that you can use him for as long as possible. And maybe in the bullpen is the smarter way to go. And I've always, when I've talked to Lance, he has an amazing attitude. I don't think that he would think that that was beneath him at all of course time will tell all right again i'm vanessa richardson that's paul gallant you can hear us from 10 to noon watch us on twitch stream it on the espn app of course if you're in houston it's 92.5 and 97.5 paulie g i will see you tomorrow sounds good